Welcome back. It's been a minute over the summer break, but in this one, I've been looking at the new Vitals app, which is part of the new Apple Watch update. Apple recently announced all of their new operating systems. And one of the new features in the update for the Apple Watch and iOS is a new Vitals app. When I first heard this, I thought it sounded a lot like the output of the Athletic app, which I've looked at in a previous video. So I thought I'd do a comparison between the Athletic app I currently use and the new Vitals app. Looking at the stats over a number of days, this is what I saw. The Athletic app has a tighter tolerance. All the tolerances aren't related to your average and move. Respiratory rate, for example, was seen to be really high in the Athletic app. And whilst it did show it being slightly elevated in the Vitals app, it wasn't out of the normal tolerance range. I also noticed this within the sleep tracking function. Athletic seems to want me to sleep for a lot longer than my average, but the Vitals app takes more of a look at my sleep history. I've noticed that a 50% sleep rate in an Athletic, which doesn't sound that good to me, is still classed as typical in the Vitals app. So what is it that the Vitals app uses to track all of its metrics? Heart rate is the number of times your heart beats in one minute, and a lower number normally indicates better heart health. It can increase when we exercise, consume alcohol, we're dehydrated, if you take certain medications, and when you're on your menstrual cycle. Resting heart rate is a slow moving metric and can take weeks to show up anything serious. Respiratory rate and HRV are much quicker reacting metrics. But because of this, we should always take a trend of values rather than just one instantaneous one. As it suggests, respiratory rate is the number of times we breathe within one minute. And again, this can be increased by caffeine intake, exercise, and some medications. It can also be affected by change in altitude. Wrist temperature records the variations seen at your wrist in body temperature overnight. And it's an indication of how hard the body's finding it to regulate your temperature in bed. There's plenty of information out there that shows that the temperature of your body during sleep is very important to the different phases of sleep. So wrist temperature can be a very good metric to look at if you're having trouble with your sleep patterns. Having an increase in this reading can be affected by having a large meal late at night. Blood oxygen is a great indicator to see if you're becoming ill. And finally, there's sleep duration. Sleep duration is affected by all of the things that we've already mentioned but can be other outside factors like loud noise or bright light. There's also a second stream to the Vitals app, and that's training load. This needed to have a 28 day block of data before it produced any output. So I've not had much time with the actual statistics that this delivered. So who's the Vitals app for? If you're after a free solution just to give you an overview of how your body is reacting, if you don't want to get bogged down in all of the information that Whoop and Athletic can produce for you, then this is the one for you. You can see at a glance on your phone or your watch in one simple icon all of your metrics and get an idea of how you're doing. If one of your metrics is out of tolerance, these are highlighted in a different colour and are known as outliers. Having one or two outliers occasionally doesn't seem to be that much of a problem. But if you get in several daily for a number of days, it might indicate that you're becoming ill. I'm definitely going to be keeping it around on my watch and I will consider swapping out to this when it's renewal time for the Athletic app later in the year. So if you're using it, let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you next time.